Hello Taurus, welcome to your reading. I have missed you guys so much and I'm so glad to be back on YouTube. I hope you've all been well, staying safe and keeping happy. Thank you all so much for your love and your support, your donations and your emails that have been asking me, when am I going to come back? Here I am. All right, let's have a look at your vibes for today. What is Taurus's vibes? And just before I begin, I am having a special for the festive season. You can contact me on my email address in the description box below for more details. Ooh, what's going on, Taurus? What are we going through? However, we're moving into a very positive time um, and I would give it about a week yeah with the despair but high honor to some kind of partnership or new position some of you may be changing roles at work yep there's the change card okay so some of you have been wondering which direction to go in regards to possibly finance or even love because you got both here okay after a period of non-activity okay Taurus so what we've got here is that there has been a period of nothingness happening possibly for a long time maybe you know, between New Year and now, roughly, maybe it's been a bit rocky because the pathway is a rocky road. And the conclusion that you've come up with is that something needs to change. And with the Thief card, it means a loss and despair is I don't know what to do. And it's about vulnerability, possibly to do with work because you've got the Occupation card there as well. Occupation can be in regards to work. It could also be something that you really enjoy doing, like, for instance, um, a business venture, a little side hustle, or something to bring in some extra income. Now, what we have is high honor, which is something that is most important, as well as something that you are highly recognized in. What are you good at, Taurus? Ask yourself for a moment, what are you really, really good at? What do you enjoy doing? That is occupation. High honor is saying something that you are recognized in. And your guides are really saying that is a change that is to come. The lovers can be a relationship or a partnership, possibly to do with work. And I'm getting a strong work vibe here for you, Taurus. After a period of non-activity, something that's not actually working out and you're transitioning from that into something that you like doing so let's go ahead and have a look at the lenormand yes for those of you who have been on my channel for a while uh, i have separated the finger sequel kipper and lenormand usually i have them um, together in as one pack and uh, recently I felt guided to separate them, separate their energies and to do separate readings from them. Time is time, space and activities in between a certain time frame according to the cards around it. It is time to meet something, someone, go to a public place. Let's see what's happening in public. Um, an old building, possibly an old place, okay? Because the lilies have the energy of something old, like a heritage, something that is recognized for its age, okay? Like maybe even a retirement home, or it could very well be something like an old statue, old building, old place, um, maybe even to visit grandparents, okay? But it's time to meet in a public place something old, like for instance a building, okay? This could be to do with work, taking control of something, time to take control of some situation in your life, this could be a romantic meeting or something that you really love. What would be a public place that's associated with love? 
Well, that could be anything. Meeting up with someone that you love, uh, a wedding chapel, uh, an old wedding chapel in the public a park. That is where a lot of lovers go to. Okay, it could very well be something like that. Could be an old library. Okay, um, an old school, university, uh, something where uh, you learn about history possibly because this has the uh, element of age um, also this is to do with learning also hidden secrets something like bible study studying theology studying the um, you know egypt or something along those lines something to do with history it could also be you know going to visit a, an elder in, in an indigenous ceremony or something along those lines okay it could also be an ex for some of you because meeting up with someone from the past that's love related to talk about you know the hidden and the secret and things like that. It could even be a secret meeting, a secret meetup, okay, with love to talk about age, um, to talk about old things, to talk about the past, okay. It could even be saying that making a date, somebody could be saying, look, I really, 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 in a persuasive manner, this is to do with destiny. The cross is all about destiny, serendipity, things that are meant to be. If the moon or something along those lines comes out right um, close to the cross, it's usually something like a soulmate. Okay, we've got a home. This could be a garden. Okay, the home and the park could be close to home it could be um, a very loving home a very family orientated person that you're meeting up with um, it could also be a home in a beautiful public area a beautiful garden here we have a tower now the home with the tower it's really talking about an in apartment with the book it could be a university or a school where you learn history or a very old building okay and you're going to visit someone in an apartment there or you know in an office or something along those lines the bear could indicate a boss so this could be a, another workplace uh, reading for some of you and may, there may be romance in that as well Possibly, maybe, let me know what this means to you, Taurus, and how it makes sense. Okay, very interesting reading. Um, you can always comment below. Don't forget to like and subscribe, Taurus. And now I'll do a quick <clears throat> three-card spread with the tarot and see what else we've got for today. All right, angels and guides for Taurus. Okay, we have the Queen of Pentacles. That would be the feminine Taurus. And we have possibly her children. Okay, cups is an emotional bond. It could also be talking about the Queen of Pentacles is reminiscing, thinking about the past, much like the lilies were showing up as well with the love Okay, um, sometimes the Queen of Pentacles indicates business because the Queen of Pentacles is all about resources. We have a wish come true coming towards the Queen of Pentacles. Now, if you are a King of Pentacles, a male, this could be a feminine around you that you're thinking about, that you're thinking about very fondly, maybe catching up for drinks. Somebody that you may not have seen or heard from in a while and you're feeling a bit imbalanced in regards to a commitment or a commitment in the past with this person so again you can see this is talking about a past scenario where there may have been a commitment the hierophant and the nine of cups is literally talking about an engagement because this is celebrating a commitment okay this is the anima and the animus being two and three equals five five being the marriage between both or the commitment in modern days 
all right let's get some more and see what else we've got we have death okay haven't heard from this person in a long while could be scorpio is involved but death is very much talking about a limbo period much like what was shown up before with the coffin and then we've got the page of cups which is an invitation a very romantic invitation and we have the knight of swords quite quickly a matter of days so this is something that's coming towards you in a matter of days some of you could um, receive an invitation in the next few days maybe over the weekend or that within the next week in regards to someone from your past that you may have been <clears throat> reminiscing about and maybe even missing them a little bit let's see some more waiting um, very patiently this is about something that's coming towards you and moving on but this could be you sending them news saying that you're actually moving on to something new that makes you happy okay in regards to possibly love or even work um, however this is celebrating a commitment so yes sometimes that could be talking about a workplace contract even um, this person may have been waiting for you let's get some more insight high priestess a very spiritual person someone that you've got a strong connection with ten of cups is family two of wands is a decision that possibly you need to make um, nine of swords is anxiety the guidance is with the high priestess follow your intuition three of wands is taking a step forward towards your happiness and you have a beautiful new journey with the ace of wands some spark possibly with someone from your past or someone new ace of wands has the energy of something new coming um, into your experience all right taurus I hope this reading has given you some insight, light and guidance in regards to what is happening in your life. And as always, I send you so much love, peace and light. Bye for now.